1700 and the first thing you're hearing is my very uh, raspy voice and that is because I've been coughing quite a lot and I'm not entirely sure why well I mean I, I guess I know why it's because I'm sick and I hate being sick so uh, please bear with me through this episode I definitely wanted to make sure I have an episode for everyone because I like to keep to this consistency that being said, the moment that this episode is in fact done with its recording, I'm going to go and pass the hell out. But this is just how committed I am to growing this channel, this community, and making sure that you all know that I'm consistent. You know, that's really important. Consistent with the content, consistent with being available, and all that stuff. You know what I mean? So, we have a lot of work to do today. Uh, first of all, we're going to be completing our build here in Taborim, I think, along with the story. The next thing is I am going to be working on uh, the beauty build episode, which is going to be going into the other playlist once I have How some playing? last things oh, no. done with uh, Taborim and whatnot. And obviously, the fucking you know tourist has to interrupt me all the time. Doesn't matter. But um, yes, what I was actually thinking of like additional flavor is naming the different districts of Taborim. And I'm thinking this one over here in this section in the middle, we name the District of Anubis. Over here, we have the Eye of Horus because I changed the Anubis statues to that of Horus going from the bridge over to this side. So that also encompasses the palace district over there. And then over the back here. celebrate your leadership. Oh, nice. Again, ruining my surprise. Thank you. Really appreciate it. I should probably go ahead and like delete the entire homes I have there. But uh, what I want to do here is actually get rid of the Anubis statues as much as I do love them and change it to that of the Golden Lion. So we have the District of the Golden Lion. And that makes it easier when we actually get to the Beauty Build episode that I can put it into little chapters for people to see. Obviously the Golden Lion is a lot smaller than Anubis and Horus, but you know what? I think it I think it works. It's just the way the settlement is built in this way. Uh, there's also one other thing that I thought of as far as some cool flavor. I have done a little bit of work over here, and that was just to add some purely cosmetic linseed farms. That's really it. Because I figured like you're you're over here in Tabarim, you're in Beza, you want to see the farms having the canals in between them, irrigated land, that's what we're here for, right? So I put that as well there. What I want to work on right now is upgrading these shepherds to elders and then outside here I want to start working on some additional homes. I don't know how many more canal ways I actually do have. I have 30 roughly. I can always get rid of some because I have like little pockets like this pocket in here it's not even necessary. I can get rid of it if I really want to and have like another farm out here. And you know what? I might actually consider doing just that. Just for the hell of it, you know? We're in the presence of a virtuoso. But homes take precedence. So I'm thinking the extended family residences out here would probably do a lot of good. So I think that's what I'm going to start building here. Uh, is it possible for me to actually have a set of four? Ugh, it's just these ones are not in a good spot. Now, what if I put them over here? Yeah, okay, this side works. This side works well, okay. So I have some extended family residences on both sides here, and then we will transfer them into shepherds. Where does this go? Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe no farms on this side then. Because I definitely want to prioritize homes over everything else. Oh man, getting sick really sucks. I, I don't know. It always happens to me at the most random of times. I feel fine for the most part. I, I don't know what the hell happened. Let's get a marketplace out here. I'll have like a little bit of a basic one. So now I would kind of want to see if the extended family homes make it to there. No, they don't. Oh, how can I navigate this one? Uh, I can put a row of three and a row of three like so, and then have like a residence right here and right here. Yep, that works. Have a road that goes straight through. Build these guys up. 
Maybe get rid of this section and plop a home right in between. Yeah, I think that looks nicer. I'm trying to go f with a little bit of an Egyptian vibe with out here, I guess, if that makes sense at all. I think it would work. I just need to make sure that it's going to be... Oh, that's in blueprint mode. I hate it every time I forget to take that off whenever I'm trying to put like gardens like these. Every single freaking time. Let's put some of that right there. We'll put some of this right here. Okay. Then we'll have to put something in the front. I think just like some normal grass would be fine. Uh, over here is fine, but I, I just want to keep to this. Oh, I still have so much more room. Jesus. Put that all the way there. And we'll go and grab this and extend it further down. Okay, so that's actually quite pretty doing that. A nice entrance to the Lion District. Very cool. I need some of these nice tall trees. Put one like right here, another one right here. And we should definitely have some over in this corner. I might get rid of like this one right here, this little bit, and put one of these tall trees in there. Yeah, that works very well. And just see, like, even that little bit of <clears throat> beautification, it, it really makes the settlement feel surreal. And that's my whole goal right now. It's This is the level of detail that I want to also put into Rantium when we get back. As much as possible. I think the road around here would look nice, so that's surrounding them. Uh, and then... We don't need a monastery here. Do these guys need they a monastery? They me to be the mother for the spring mass. They do, but it's far, isn't it? Uh, we might want to put... You know what? We can put a monastery out here. Like, right along the shoreline. Uh, let's put it, like, right here. Okay. And then we're gonna get the towers. Where's the... There it is. Actually, I want it like this. I'll get rid of that one just hanging out there doing absolutely nothing. Let's have a road like that and one in front like so. That looks very pretty. I, I like the isolated monastery over here. It looks very pretty. So now they- I'm trying to get them to the point of actually being able to use the Grand Thermal Bath, because that's also important. Do these guys need mail? I never checked. No, they don't need mail. They could care less about it. Uh, let's go with some more extended family residences. We'll have a a section like right here put a little break in between just have some homes that are not even like supposed to be zoned over here in like weird shapes don't put them to like a static build there we go that looks nice and do something with like this section of the road maybe perhaps a nifty tree because I love this tree and that covers the entire section right there. That's really nice. Very good. We're going to need some of them along this road. Now, what I could potentially do is take this, copy it, and make a triple like so. Okay. And we can have some flower beds in between because we can't bring the canals over to here. Flower beds look very pretty, I dare say. And then we have the bigger trees. Now, I feel like every single other Anno creator, man. I, I sound boring. I, I don't know. I'm going to try to try to mix it up here. <laughs> I don't want to sound boring. I know my sh my style at the moment. I'm the only fucking Anno player I've ever seen on YouTube that fucking rages, okay? And I'm fucking keeping to that shit, regardless of how sick I am. <clears throat> One sip of tea. Oh, that feels good. You know, and just goes down the throat like that. Oh, man. Do not take that out of context, you sick freaks. Oh, perfect. Okay. So, 
We have this section all set up. There's a little bit of an empty spot right here. I'm gonna put some nice ornaments and whatnot right over here to make it pop. I really want to utilize as much space as I can just because this is a district for primarily industry. It does not mean that I can't make it look good. You know, that's the whole thing. And we definitely need more tea spicers because I can guarantee that the tea is actually waning. Where is the tea? I always forget the goddamn... There it is. Okay. Yeah, so it's a good thing that we made it. The Watt Kitchen is doing fine with eight, so I guess we'll be okay with that. Uh, we have some additional spots over in here that we can put some cool ornaments. Let's put that. Then we'll put a smaller tree, like so. So are you guys at the bath yet? Not there. I keep forgetting where the fuck it is. Uh, so you guys would need a monastery tower somewhere around here, would you not? Okay. I will put one for you right here. There we go. Because I'm nice. That's what I do for my people. So they're going to have the monastery need. There's a little bit of an overhang over here. I don't particularly like that. I wish I could have a farm over here, but I just I don't have the capability of bringing the canal all the way over here. It's just not possible. But what we can do is we can have shepherd residences now pop up in between these guys because I feel like the third uh, the extended party homes they are or extended family homes, excuse me, they are a little bit more high end than what these guys have. So I could potentially, just for some flavor, add in dirt path over here. I can't really do anything with this. Dirt path as opposed to, um, Don't think you'll be getting any more. you know, an actual cobble road. But at the same time, now that I think about it, we already have cobble roads everywhere. So it doesn't really matter, regardless of what we do with that or not. Is there a way that I could put like a fountain or something in the middle here? Oh, why don't I actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna get rid of these trees for a second. I just realized, hold on, hold on. I have these. There we go, that looks nicer. Would these spam look nice? Uh, yeah, they would, but I've, I'm digging the palms a little bit more, if I'm being honest. Yeah. yeah, I think I like that better. Only thing that sucks now is that it's now a four gap here, so I, I don't I don't particularly like that, but I uh, might consider shortening this up a bit. Hold on, let me try this, get rid of this, and then get rid of this one. That has to make sense. Okay, make it an extended path like this. Yeah, there we go. And then we can have... Let me try this again. Okay, I'm not... I'm not opposed to this, actually. Yeah, I am opposed to it. I, I don't... That I'm blaming it on the medication. Palms. Let's get, just put the palms. There we go. Perfect. Problem solved. Easy peasy. Now... What I'll do is I'll go over here and I will put flower beds around on this corner. That looks good. And then we'll have more shepherd residences over here. So I'll put one here, one here, and one here. Uh, maybe like one in this corner, one here, one here. I don't want to put it too close to the monastery building. I can put one here. Uh, yeah, I think that's sufficient enough. <clears throat> and let's get some roads to these guys and that one has a road so do you have the um market you're good with the market okay good so that's our exterior over there we can also put some over on this side and then we'll work to start some more beautification uh this side's a little bit different i feel we can try to do something like this actually put two and then one, two, three. Have one home here, two homes over here, one right here. I'm trying to see what would look nice ish. 
Yeah, there we go. So that's gonna be this side. <clears throat> Get a path straight through, loop that around, get one to this poor fellow, and then loop it through here, over to here, and then, no, 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 don't you dare. Oh, no, that's why, because of the freaking, there's one little gap there, you piece of shit. Okay. Is a bit out of tune. So what, you guys don't have the, okay, I would have to <clears throat> put a musician's cord around here somewhere then. Uh, you know what? Your home ain't, ain't feeling it for me, Chief. Get rid of that. Put that at least, like, right here. And then I will put a musician's court for you right here. And then link it up from that end as well. So it looks barren, but we're going to fix it here in a second. And the best thing to really do is just to open up these packs and really start experimenting. Grab that, put it there. In a way camp and plop that down right over there. We'll have a well right over there. We'll have a smaller one over here. It's important to have water here. You're in the desert for Christ's sake, so I mean you're gonna definitely need it. And I feel like a nice fence area around here would do well. So let me try this. Put a fence like so. No, that's not where I wanted you to go at all. Well, no, not not necessarily, but it, it works. It works unironically. Have some flower beds on this side. Now, what other things do these guys have? They have a tent. Let's put a tent over there. I'm going to put the larger trees, so that's not a big deal. Uh, another tent over here would be fantastic. Uh, another station for water would be great. I feel like this out here would look very nice, yeah. It's a nice shelter. Uh, campfire, definitely. I have a, I don't usually use the juniper tree, so let's put one of those down. Okay, now we're gonna need the big boys. Then when you put the big boys down, then it's gonna really change. Oh, uh, I can't click on, come on. There you are, okay. Put one right there. I'm gonna put one in the very middle right here. Uh, one right here. And one right here. I think uh, we can justify putting one right over here as well. Okay, perfect. So now we have completely built up Tabarim. This is also considered part of the District of the Golden Lion. But now I have to upgrade all these guys to Elders. I'm gonna do just that right now. So now everybody within the walls are elders and everyone outside, for the most part, extended family residences, which do also have elders in them and uh, shepherds. So now we have a good mixture of all of them. And that's really what I was hoping for to start this build off. That's what I really hope for with all my builds, but I will say that it doesn't really pan out the way that I intended sometimes. <clears throat> uh, let's put one of these here. I don't want to put a shed, man. Shed just ain't feeling for me. I wish they had, like, more seating arrangements. Put this one over here. Yeah. Is there a way that I can put, like, a fountain or something in the middle of here? What, what other things can I have? I could put one of these towers down. Yeah. I'll put one of these towers down here. That's not bad. And then having some maybe a shelter next to it and a tree or two how do how would the big tree stack up against this thing it'll clip it a little bit but i do like it i will keep it should we put some trees down here i think we should it's easy just to grab one that's isolated and just move it and one right here will do I think over here it needs like at least one or two because we already have like the actual like one that's auto generated we can just plop down two like that yeah okay so we're good over in this corner i don't know what i'll do over here uh, is there a possibility of having a farm i think so let me put the farm entrance like right here no i'll put it right here I didn't 
put it down to there. And we will extend it a little bit. And you just have like a little bee stick sticking out like that. Yeah, I know that's the terminology I use. So that's at what? It's at 89, they need 96. So hold up. Let me, let me try to fix this up a little bit more then. Because I still have some... Oh, there is room in there. Okay, well, just... You know what? How much of this can I build? Uh, just put it to, like, here. Yeah. That's that's better than having this little part over here. And then you can completely build around it. You can go all the way to here if you really wanted to. And just extend it as much as you possibly can. There we go. So we have that farm over in this corner. So that means that we essentially are catering to every single resident type that we still have these farms here in Taborim. Get one of these trees. Actually, we can definitely put two down, I think. Nope, that's a small fry. There we go. That works. Okay. I think we are done officially with Taborim. I think that's all we really need to do. Yeah, there's some open spots over here. I'm not going to really worry about it. You can have open spots in your islands. Uh, we have enough of the tea spicers. We, I think the island is perfectly balanced with the resources that are coming in. The only thing that's really suspicious at the moment are the herbs and the orchids, which I will work on those in due time. I'm not sure exactly why we're having herb problems. I'll have to go over there to Rosa and check out what's going on. So just to recap, we have the District of Anubis over here. It's our main one. Then we have the Eye of Horus right over here with the Palace District. There's going to be two separate things, I guess. We can try to play it off that way. And then over here is going to be the District of the Golden Lion. So the three districts of Tabarim built up. This fucker can shut up. Now we're going to continue on with the Caduceus and Tony story, as well as the one for Archie. So we're going to take the Enterprise over here first. I also need to go over to the New World, because I think one of the um, soccer matches is over. Found any evidence of the ancient script? Yeah, I, I did. My own search has been quite fruitless. Yeah, well, Arvert College apparently ain't the shit, isn't it? <laughs> A full lexicon, and in such short time? Unbelievable. Give it here. Doubtless it will be strewn with mistakes and approximations. I'm about to backhand this motherfucker. The people celebrate your leadership. I... I have reviewed the lexicon and found no quarrel with it. You have my respect and my help with translation if you require it. Oh, now you want to respect me? Now you do. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention, I bought a second monitor. It is on the way. I sound like I'm crying. I'm not crying. I'm just really, like, I'm trying to emphasize, hey, losing my voice, man. It really sucks. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so let's say it represents the character in Wahadesha. Okay. Uh, Alright, continue on. Okay, here's a speech given by the queen. May the first trade seal the beginning of an eternal friendship between two. Okay, these men represent, okay, countries or nations. Okay, well, that one, well, they're providing goods. I feel like it's, is it islands? I feel like it's islands. Okay, between two glorious islands, these men represent. For one's needs immortality, plans for yada yada yada. I think the symbol at the end that looks like a branch held by the golden age recognizes offering or gift at the beginning of the word. So if that refers to special plants, then that means rituals. If that means life, then it means health. I don't know, I'm, I'm more on the side of health. An offering of life, you say, a poetic decryption of health and deed. Okay. Other words, needs to cultivate. Okay. Perhaps you have an idea. So, I don't think it means priests. That means it's farmers. Why the hell would the priests get involved here? Fuck the priests. 
Okay. May this trade seal the beginning of an eternal friendship between two glorious islands. And men represent for once these immortality between calls to be okay. That would mean that Wadash's farmers are growing deathless grace. Okay. I I think it's correct. Are you entirely certain? I don't give a fuck. Very in. well. I will trust your judgment though something feels off. Okay. The foundations of our faith are built on these very walls. Once it was a place of pilgrimage. And when Ketema recognizes our claims, we'll be again. On our way. Idusi has long been a place of prayer and writing, and will remain so. No emperor can countermand this. Why do I have a feeling I made a big For mistake? For science! Should you find any other fragments, please bring them to Kidusi. I shall be delighted to decrypt. Carry about. Well, let's see how Katima takes this. He's definitely not gonna get his glorious library, I think. I don't fucking know, I don't care. It's his island, not mine. Well, rather, it is, technically it is my island, but I don't really care what happens to him. At this point in the campaign, I could care less. Even if it deals with scholars, like, I'll get whatever I need regardless. Not trying to min-max that shit at this point. It's way too late in the campaign for to actually care whether this guy gets everything he needs. And I already fucked up on the story to begin with. Like, they, he got the guns even though, like, I I didn't mean to fire on them. Things did not go as expected. I don't know. Kedusi's independence I may allow, but the stone must be destroyed. What it stands for is perilous and could be used to endanger my rule. Uh, you know what? Fuck it, sure. I've never actually done it to destroy it. Remain silent. I trust you will see it done. Cargo boat at the ready. I am decided. Trade with Kidusi and Itoni will end, and they shall be left to contemplate their decisions. The island no longer exists to me. Oof. Yeah, I've actually never Stone had this one. must be destroyed. It is a symbol of lies and treachery and imperils my dominion. I will see it ruined before it ruins in Beza. I agree, because you can never trust the priest. Get that ship over here, and let's see what happens. I've never actually failed, or not really failed, I've never gone down this path of Caduceus and Tony to see them exiled and whatnot. So, the stubborn old goat. Well, we shan't be cowed. Kidusi stands for truth, whatever trials this unfair ban bring. New orders? Our stone! What have you done? Heathens! This is how our trust is repaid? If only you had never come here! <laughs> Curse the day we ever trusted you! By your fault are we doomed to Begin fate! By your will are these holes destroyed! I still see a fucking At last, Our magnum opus is complete! I have had several copies made, masterful craftsmanship if I do say so myself. Oh, thanks, man. Hand it over. There it is. A final, exhaustive, comprehensive copy of the Chronicles of the Land of Lions. Shall we? These chronicles herald a new golden age. The Age of Lions. The triumph of Mbesa. And we, the architects of its splendor. Okay. Are we done with that? Your own poets may soon sing the splendors of Enbesa. Alright, well that's fine. So did you get your library? No, you didn't. Okay, so good to know. If you fail that shit, you're not gonna get the library. Only our reporting in. The lone and level sands stretch far away. But what are beyond the sands? What king caught in the glorious prime? 
Oh, do I need it? God damn it, can I go and hand the you will see it done. Yes, I, I was, but I want to give this thing to Archie. I've been trying to do that for now. That's the main story. Oh, there's also one other thing I forgot to mention. So over here, you will notice I changed the name to Admasu. Why? Because this fucking trade union would not fit for both of these goddamn piece of shit water slots. Can you believe it? It was like right here, like 97% of the radius was actually on this one. It didn't work. So uh, this island is now Dunder Mifflin and it has a lot of paper. Actually need to get some more depots over here so we can have more paper. And if only I had a voice, then I would have actually been able to make some more references to the office. But no, I don't have that because the world decided to screw me. This city is a magnet for genius. Let's see what Archie's gonna say when we hand him this. What what are we stations? A beehive with a letter. Yeah, that that's a good idea. For this doozer? Why can't we build a little structure like that? I don't want little soldiers. Archie's just like literally copying exactly what I did, except I did it like a million times better over there on top of him. Is that top of him right there? Yeah, that is. Holy shit, you can see the island? And all the little towers and everything from here too, that's crazy. Alright, let's get the Enterprise in here and see what this doucher has to say now. <clears throat> The mighty Katima extends a sign of goodwill. My memory of him is not of someone so reasonable. I see. Uh, how kind. Boat up the ready. Uh, please take these away. Somewhere distant, preferably. There is fruit enough here for all Katima's people, sent in from the old world. <laughs> the long way. That's if up. this king is going to behave like a spoiled child, then Room I'll give maneuver. him a piece of my own mind. Oof. He gave him overripe fucking fruit, man. That's messed up. Why did I think like this wasn't built? <laughs> it looked like it wasn't. <clears throat> Just have to wait for our ship to come in, actually. I can't get enough of looking at this settlement at all. It's so gorgeous. And I'm telling you. How thrilling! A renowned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the mods decide that they want to be a piece of shit, and uh, they for some reason don't work, or something happens that glitches it out, I'm not rebuilding this. I think this is just too good. And if I do, it'll take a lot longer. Because it'll just be painful. Because almost all of this, definitely all of this, is mod related. So that would really suck. And I mean really suck. Alright, how is uh, things looking in the Arctic? Because clearly you guys had some coal issues. Okay, so they have enough coal now. New orders. Good. So we won't have to deal with any of that crap anymore. New World, how is it looking? Uh, pretty good. I think uh, they still have a decent amount of herbs in here. Last I checked. Yeah, they're almost full up here. So what's the issue here? I think it was just the ships were being too slow. I think that's really the problem. Because these farms are producing relatively quickly. I mean, the cow chug is definitely faster because we have the seeds in there. But the uh, herbs... Oh, you know what? It's because these guys aren't that part of the trade. Side, boss. Go get dirt on your fence. But these guys aren't... Yeah, it's just one second faster. It's not, like, considerably faster. No, 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 no. That, that's not what's happening. Hey, okay, Old World, how is it looking over here? Isengard looks to be okay. How much coal do we have in here? Okay, we're almost capped again with coal. And then, Ditchwater... 
It's still loud as hell because I can hear it. And they have a decent amount of coal as well. Is merely... Did I actually set I this story again? Certain... When you're used to the top rung, most of life becomes pretty ordinary. We should be able to provide all that. Did I actually bring felt back? Seems like that's something that they always want. Uh, felt, 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 felt. Yeah, we have plenty of felt. Okay, so that'll be maxed out, but that's not what I'm trying to go for, actually. If I could uh, get more columns, I need more columns, because when we build Roma, we definitely need a lot of columns. That's important. That's when y'all are going to have to hold Patrick back, because you know he's going to be freaking the fuck out what with all the columns. Is the best he could do. <clears throat> Never mind. Thank him, for this will feed the many poor families. I dare not leave home while pestilence roams the streets unchecked. Uh, I had no knowledge of this. It, it was an accident. I, I would never stoop to such underhanded ways. Deliberate. I will not believe it. Though it is not the first time men of the old world inflict their sickness upon new lands, there have been precedents. Why is he smiling? How could they not know if there is a precedent? How could this not be deliberate? Be murder! Oh, the crime. Something must be done to drive that parasite out of Mbesa. Out of our lives, for good. The water, of course. That's it. Hurry then. I must get to the canals before first light. Without them, the land will dry up, and Archibald will have no choice but to move. Yeah, let's sabotage the fucker. Let's go. Bring her around. Let's pick up this guy from over here first, though. So long as it doesn't spread into, like, my section up top, Ream, I don't care less what fuck happens up there. Are you still. No. I can't simply. God damn. It's all these fucking warehouses, man. I need more. Uh, you know what? Get rid of, like, this section of the double street and then build another one. Because we're clearly gonna need it. Only our so what shall it be? Ugh, what a boy. We've made great progress here, but let us review what material we have before moving on. By the ruins of the Seven Princes Palace of Conspiracy, I need to... The assignment's yeah. due soon. Well, th that's not my fucking fault. Okay, which island has never been governed by one of the seven? Described as leaderless, the remains of the seven houses on the islands near Tabarim. Okay. I'll check that in a moment. I, I wanna I wanna sabotage this fucker. That's a ritual war. Find the ruins of the seven princes palace on Caduce, Wahadesha or Angra. No, it's on uh Caduce Anatoni, I think. If I remember correctly, I, I have no clue. It's been so long. That's the ritual pool. Loud workers don't really care about them. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's Wahadesha, actually. Yeah, okay. So there's one. Angareb, maybe... I don't think it's that one. That was the section that was burned down. I remember for that from the lore. That's not it. Let's see what other things you can possibly click on here. <laughs> I burnt this place to the fucking ground. <laughs> oh, man. 
it's not the ritual wharf. It's not this. It's not that. But in doubt, keep clicking. Not that either. Alright, so it probably is here on Caduceus. I just don't know where the fuck it could be. Oh, there's more shit over here. That's a mausoleum. It's not that. Library entrance, not that. I know that thing I goes deeper. No one, okay. We need time to prepare. I... Oh, I... I went past this blockade, I didn't even notice. Now to find those pumps. Cargo stations. Simple, harmless. Okay. None need be hurt. We gotta do something. Make it the dead of night. I will not have families torn asunder by one man's blind greed. That's it, Binyam. It's a man on a mission right now. <clears throat> Extend the big middle finger to fucking Archie. I got your back. Just no, I can't scream. I'll throw something at you if there's someone coming close. He can't manage on this land without our help. Yet he says we need him. We never needed him. Never. Yes, use your aggressive feelings, boy. Let your hate flow through you. <laughs> Damn it, now I sound like fucking Grievous. I was going for a Palpatine and got that guy. <laughs> there. Let the Lycaon see how well he fares without water. We have no need of his arrogance and pride. Oh no, Binion. Is this the hospitality of Mbeza? Flames and steel in the night. Seize him and see to his extradition. Archie, you give him back now. There will be no transportation. Binyam is a subject of Inbesa and will be returned oh, to us crying. for trial. And who are you, O oh King, to countermand the will of Empire? I fear our talk must now be of fleets and steel. Oh, no, you do not, Archie. I swear to God. Excuse you? What the fuck I is this little shit? I would make for peaceful times. But it seems I had neither. So be it. We must sound the drums of war. You know what? I'm just going to let that play out. Uh, what I'm going to do is, if that's the case... The Rantian fleet will respond. Where's my navy? Actually, it's over here, isn't it? It's right here. Aye. Head on over to Taborim immediately. Battle deck to attention. Oh, good midday. Okay, our fleet is ready and it's heading towards Mbeza now. We'll be able to deal with Archie's ass once and for all. I've had enough of his shit. Alright, what else do we have to do? So what does he even have here? He's there got... are many beliefs in Mbesa. But only one faith. Man, he's in troubled all times, fucking place. The people look to their lords and to the lord above to provide solace. I mean, we have plenty you of eliminated script. A different type of wood, perhaps from your homeland, for this. Nope. You wanna know why? Because I got this guy. No, wait. That. My niece asked me to repair it, but. Your I, city I don't need Wanza for it. Beautiful. Okay, so old world. We actually managed to get this thing started. It's a lot faster, isn't it? Oh, it's max out. So what does it do? World 4 Annex. Okay. That could be useful. 
later on, but I, I just want the columns. You can walk around in that thing too, I think. There's some ways to get inside. Let me see. It's been a while since we actually walked like this in ditch water. I think if you go through here, you'll be able to see. Yeah, there we go. You guys ever see inside this thing? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at all the columns. Hold Patrick down from now, and man's going crazy. <clears throat> oh, there's an elevator in here? Can you go up the elevator? Is that even possible? I'm stuck. Go this way? Up the elevator? I'm looking into the elevator shaft, but I don't think I can go this way. Oh, let me in. Let me in. Uh, it ain't happening. Okay. Well, yeah, you can walk around in there too, which is kind of cool. All right, back here. How well I used to know these verses, studying every day in King Wag, my father's chapel. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. What was King Wag all about? Only I'm reporting in. Man, we have twelve thousand five hundred elders here, dude. That's insane. Okay, put this and this. Actually, no, I need this so I can figure out this stupid Silver Age. We only got the one, so how large was that? By all accounts, the city flourished under the Seventh Rule. Finding the ancient city walls understanding the city at the time. City's current borders. Okay, so right over here. I would assume. That's the Temple of Elam, so it's not there. Those are the Botanical Gardens. Ancient Wall. So where are the ruins? This city is a magnet for genius. That's La Corona's man, dude. Okay, I, I I gotta be real. How come they didn't add any more La Corona, you know, flavor to this game? I don't understand. There's so much more they could have added, and they just chose not to. What the fuck? Oh, there's an ancient wall over here. What the hell? Oh no, I'll I'll look this shit up later. I'm I can't be bothered. Unless this is crap back here, which I doubt. No, none of that. <clears throat> What's this? No. That's the Botanical Garden. No, I'm not gonna bother with it. I'll just check it later. I have to see where the fleet's at. Because we have to get over here and kick Archie's ass. Fucking idiot. Like, I, I can't believe that this clown actually thinks that he's strong enough to deal with us. Is that the fleet? No, but it will be coming from over here. That's for certain. I'll just go over there and burn all the ships to the ground. Or in this case, destroy them and watch them sink. Is these, he thinks this one little battle cruiser is going to be able to stop me? No. Uh, I'm so scared, but you know what? He brought the Mac Daddies, okay? Take it easy. Like, don't get scared. Uh, these frigates are going to deal some damage. Like, I'm nervous. <clears throat> oh, oh, I didn't see these little shits. Okay. He's got some monitors over here. Damn, Archie, where'd you pull these things out of? Is that, is that the whole fleet the Queen has now? Is that what you've been reduced to? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's like, I didn't offer you the opportunity to be a part of the new Imperium, which literally dominates all of the regions now. <clears throat> but you, you're like a diehard loyalist, aren't you? Look at this. All your friggin' fields are burning. You don't have any water. Because Binyam over here was an absolute Chad Lord. He went and, like, burned everything that you have. Good for him. You know, fuck you. I said it. I want Binyam back. Binyam's cool. You're an ass. These little guns are not gonna protect you either. I'll destroy them before I even get close. Although we will probably get the island. I I'm nervous to go into the uh, the world map mode to see where the hell my fleet's at. I'm just gonna have to keep eyeballing it. What can I grab here? Or at least do something in the meantime. I really wanted to figure out what this whole, like city wall crap is i don't know where the freaking the people celebrate your leadership is that for that's for the sun king no that's binyam's house what do i want to do with celebrate your oh nice 
Holy festival, there we go. Plus 91 for the elders. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. <clears throat> I can't feel my throat. Is this normal? I get all hyped up and whatnot, and then bam. Okay. There's outer wall there, ancient city wall. What the fuck did this thing say again? What about this thing in the fucking middle? Is that the monument to the seven? No? Is that my fleet? No. They'll take longer to get here. That's the problem. Because I don't have anything in there that actually boosts their speed. And I really want to try to get the story done today. Oh, the, oh yeah, you know, it, but I should have done this a lot faster with the day-night cycle. I feel like it adds so much more flavor. What can I do on Tavarim now that'll, like, help and pass the time? Nothing particularly. I mean, everything is just perfect. I, I really like this idea. Oh, that, look at this. Now that they have the, the festivals happening here, it actually spawned from in the monastery. It's marching all the way up here. That's very cool. I should probably consider putting some golden lions down, considering that this is actually, like, the golden lion district. Here, I'll do this. I'll get rid of this and this. <clears throat> and I'll copy one golden lion. And I'll put it, like, right here. There we go. Nice. That's how it's done. Incredible. And luckily the T is all loaded up, so we won't have any T related issues. And I definitely think like adding these farms is definitely a good idea. What I could do is actually get rid of this now that I think about it. And put some more. Just align it like so. Okay, that's pretty good. I think that's better than anything else, really. Should I put more of the lions down? I think I should. I'll put one lion down right here. Uh, maybe one. Can I put two? Is it possible? I could put two. Put two lions right over there. That way you know like in which district you are. That's important, you know, because especially for me, I get lost. Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of farm fields over there. I can't build that there. We already have lion statues right over there. That looks looking good. Okay. Looking pretty solid. It would be interesting to see what this city looks at at night. We can go walking. I'm kind of keen on checking it out now. Let's just spawn in, a, in the center of the Anubis district. Did they spawn? Where are they at? I don't know what direct. Oh, they're behind me. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to definitely go and rest after this episode, that's for sure. Yeah, it just adds here. I, I learned how to do this. Check this out. A letter has That's come cool. from from his mother. You will go and explain to her how your recklessness put her son in danger. Do I have to? If naught has changed by your return, the ships will sail to our foe in arms and visit the wrath of the Empire upon him. Okay, dude, listen. Your wrath ain't gonna help. Your wrath isn't going to do shit. My wrath, on the other hand, is a whole different matter entirely. Okay, where the hell? Sail to... right here? Alright. Well, it seems like it's a little bit too dark, so I'm just going to keep it at that. Attention for the Admiral. We'll call it a day. About time we toasted to profit! Alright, the fleet's going to be stationed right over here. Turn around and go there. Last time this fleet was here, caused a diplomatic so incident. Up the order.
It is a good thing to see the fleet in action, though, one more time. Kind of just been lounging around there, both the New World and Old World not being able to do much. And now they're gonna bring Fleet ready. the Imperium's Justice finally to Archibald Blake, of whom has been consistently pissing me off. Uh, yeah, I think this is pretty, pretty good. I don't think his guns are gonna be able to fire at me. This is one, yeah. I'm gonna put them like right here. I think this one's probably my favorite island as part of the NPC locations. Hold the crane. Binyam, is that you? Oh, my apologies. <clears throat> I thought you were my son, and you would be? I, before I introduce myself, I gotta be very frank, your son's a fucking Chad. Tell the truth, your son has been arrested for arson and waste transportation, the Antipodes. Uh, well, a man from the old world named Archibald Blake arrested him, yeah. Honesty is a virtue. However painful the truth may be. Absolutely. Always be honest. Don't lie. Lying's bad. The <clears> roots <throat> are deep. Make sure to sift through the earth to clear it all, will you? What do you mean? Are you serious? I kept a diary of sorts when I was younger. Before... Before Binyam was born. You may find it of interest. Cargo stations. Ooh, Archie got busy. Right underneath the orange trees. Damn, I didn't think he had it in him. All right, well, yep. He, he arrested the your kid. Truth is an orange, sour skinned and pithy. Sharpen your blade, and when ready, peel it open. Begin the turn. I don't like the way she said that. I, I really don't like the way she said that. I'm still clicking on random things hoping to finish that fucker's assignment for him. Alright, the fleet ready? Fleet's looking mighty fine. It's facing this direction. I don't like that. Face this direction. Because we're going to have to impose a naval blockade right now on Archie. And then... Fire. That's pretty much the long and short of it. I'm not giving this man any more leeway. I've had enough of him. I suppose Lord Biniam forgot something and sent you back for it? Well, the registers for the campaign are still on display. Can I actually go in there? Uh, where's the registry? Oh, it's in the ship. Well, I think that was on. Only our reporting in. Uh, Richard Sharp. <laughs> Please tell me all know the the reference here. I hope that this is the reference, but what, what I'm thinking. And now that I've got the second monitor, I can definitely tell you the Napoleon Total War will be coming to the channel because that is my favorite fucking Total War game of all time. And the amount of sharp memes and jokes and references that are gonna come are just gonna be insane okay but it is indeed Archibald Blake who is um what's his nuts father my name is Major so Richard Sharp of the first battalion of South Essex I had thought it best to keep it from him all those years keep him safe <clears throat> besides they paid me to keep quiet about it damn Yanehoi Katima. I do not know how to put this. I knew Sir Archibald. Bring him around. <laughs> yeah, you did. He and I were in love once. Binyam is the product of that union. I had a suspicion there was something, <clears throat> but this. Thank you for sharing. 
Elder Kyria. It may prove our salvation. Frog a boat at the ready. But for you to appeal to Archibald's heart, Kyria, you must be able to reach him. I fear there will have no choice but to carve you a path through the royal fleet. Say no more. Moving to coordinates. Get there and open fire. We're dealing with this ship. I've actually never seen it from this angle. If only I knew that this keybind existed. Wonder if we'll actually see them like fire how it'll be actually from this angle. Oh, the guns are poised. Ship under attack. How thrilling! A renowned personage has arrived. Empire meet Imperium. Sit the fuck down. Lives lost, ships destroyed, and for what? So a kinglet may make a mistaken point? Kneel. Now. The I don't give a damn. And time is of the essence. Kyria must be brought to Sir Blake before he oh, settles upon crying. retaliation he will live to regret. Archibald, I want to say you look well, but exertion does not become you. Kyria? <gasps> it is you. Those quizzical eyes. How could I forget? Release him, Archibald. Him? <gasps> you mean... Not. Not. Binyam? He... he can't be. Avo, Binyam is my boy. The prisoner is to receive a full pardon. Return his possessions. We go to meet the Emperor. I believe I know why you have freed Binyam and come before me. Yanahoi Katema, there will be no war between us, for the truth is, I have no quarrel with any here save myself. I have all along had power to do great good here, yet was distracted and upset by matters personal. I do not ask your forgiveness, Binyam, but perhaps in time. He is no father of mine, nor has he earned that title. He only saw me, Archibald. He did not see you for many years. How often I wondered, yearned, but I never could. And I regret it. I regret it. No one could ever have replaced either of you. But I poured all that terrible guilt with constancy into Her Majesty's nurture and protection. Then care for this land as much as you do her, and perhaps our peoples can still bond in sisterhood. And that is why Kiburi Binyam, most patient Emperor Katema. I will make the necessary arrangements for a swift departure and open myself up to negotiations between our people. May Her Majesty hang me for it. of a virtuoso can she shut the fuck up like every 30 seconds she just pops 
leave. All the arrangements are made. Not a trace left on the island. Escort me before Emperor Katima once more. I am ready to negotiate. Okay, with that being said, this is where I'm going to end the episode off. Because I really need to rest my voice and we still have a little bit of stuff to do here. Um, look out for the uh, beauty build video. It's just going to be a one-off. It's going to join the exact same uh, I playlist. Than to fear and deny the past. To lie to others, lie to myself. Only the worst of politicians would do that. Yeah, Apart absolutely. Apart from security, I appreciate the company. Oh, well, now you're happy. Okay. Now Heat you're fucking happy. Alright, so with that being said, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell button, guys. Share it with your friends. Like I said, I'm trying to grow the channel. Get it to 500 subscribers by the end of the month. I, again, I don't know if it's possible for little old me, but again, I'm still trying, okay? That's the most important thing. Try. If you never try, you're never going to know, all right? So, I will catch you guys on the next episode. Thank you so much again for being here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go and pass the fuck out. <laughs>